Ocean City, Maryland or Fenwick Island, Delaware, which is better. So this is what I'm going to talk about a little bit in this video here. And uh, you don't want to miss this one. So if this is your first time here, you know, I'm Rich. I'm your local Maryland, Delaware realtor. And my contact information is going to be down below in the description if you need to reach out for any reason. And of course, if you like content like this, make sure that you subscribe, show the love so you don't miss any of the, the videos that I come out with every week. So let's hop right in. And uh, I'm just going to go through each of them, Ocean City and Fenwick and kind of describe both in five different categories uh, that I feel uh, will focus us down a little bit to be the most helpful. Um, and those things are the, the feel of the, both places, the location of both, affordability, home options, or maybe vacation rental options if you're staying in like an Airbnb. And finally, uh, taxes, which is a big thing because we have that imaginary line where you have Maryland right there and Delaware right there obviously where Fenwick is versus Ocean City. Let's talk about the feel, or I say the vibe, you know, uh, of, of each area. So they can be drastically different and a lot of things pretty much the same too. Ocean City, uh, I like to start that off, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot larger than Fenwick. You know, it's about nine miles uh, span and uh, you know Fenwick is is about four miles plus you know give or take so it's a little bit smaller but Ocean City's uh, feel is kind of like your classic beach town is what I say you know they've got the the wooded boardwalk which is about three miles long and you got your typical you know businesses food vendors uh, arcades rides you can imagine you know, if you visited before and hung around, you kind of get those smells of the cotton candy or the, the pizza cooking in the air, the thrasher fries with the vinegar on there. Um, but I'm sure if you've been here, that it brings back a little bit of memories. But you, you'll have a lot of action going on, especially downtown Ocean City uh, with where all the boardwalk and those rides and everything are. Uh, then you got Midtown, then North Ocean City, a ton of hotels uh, to choose from. And of course, where it's a resort town, there's a lot of uh, secondary homes and a lot of Airbnbs uh, that are short-term rentals that are available if you're looking to stay in town. And you know, Ocean City, they, uh, they mark it as a, a family-friendly beach, which I, I feel that they are. There's a lot of nightlife that goes on or options that you wanna do, but there's other things, you know, with the family that, that are there too and I feel that they keep the, the beach clean. Overall, where Ocean City is a larger uh, area, you know, this offers a lot of things to do. On the water, just going to the beach, bayside things, bars, restaurants, you know, big events with concerts, fishing tournaments, uh, you name it. Um, it's, it's, it's usually going on in Ocean City. Let's talk about the feel of Fenwick a little bit. So uh, as I mentioned before, it is a little bit smaller, only about four miles uh, long. Um, setup is very similar to Ocean City. Fenwick definitely has that smaller beach town vibe and feel. There's a lot more, you know, it's like single family homes located on that side, which Ocean City has a little bit more condos. Um, of course, a, a big mix on there. But so if you're looking to stay, um, there's a few hotel options, not a whole lot. But there's, you know, if you're doing like an Airbnb short term rental, uh, most of your options are going to be single family homes, maybe three bedrooms, four bedrooms, a little large, ha larger house style. There are a few condo buildings in Fenwick, but again, uh, not that many. So you, you get a little bit more of a, you know, tight knit feel, I think, in Fenwick. Um, and there's still things to do. You know, they got a, a huge uh, state park which is uh, the most convenient spot probably to go to if you want to go to the beach. Um, a lot of the, the in-town area, uh, there's a few uh, you know, parking, parking lot kind of spots that you pull in, very small. You need a parking permit there too, the, the park. You know, so some of their beach access can be public, but also as you move up, a lot of it is private into gated communities uh, on the ocean side. So that, you know, it's a little different in that way. But as soon as you cross that line uh, from Maryland into Delaware and the Fenwick Island, you know, most of the action is right there in town in Fenwick. Um, you know, they got a little center off to the left. Um, you know, they got like a, a water park there, a go-kart track. As you move up, it's just a little bit more residential uh, with some businesses scattered throughout uh, with restaurants and so forth. And that's one thing that is uh, Fenwick Island does not have a boardwalk like Ocean City, but your nearest one would be, uh, there's a smaller one in, um, in Bethany Beach, 
Um, of course, obviously, downtown Ocean City is not that far away. So let's hop into a map, take a bird's eye view of the lay of the land on both, you know, Ocean City and Fenwick. So you have Ocean City on the, the south end here, and you can kind of see the size of it there. Um, and then we have Fenwick right here, kind of ends right before you get into South Bethany. Uh, you can kind of see Ocean City offers a little bit more like a bay, like open bay options here. Um, you know, you got the Acid Woman Bay, and when, when you cross Route 90, um, it flows into the Isle of White Bay. The name just changes there. Then you can eventually go out to the inlet. But up here in Fenwick, you can kind of see here, you know, uh, they have a large bear, uh, bay area as well. And then you can actually come through here, which they call this the ditch to kind of get into the Acid Woman Bay that I just showed you the hook into the Maryland side. Um, then you can kind of see where the state park kind of takes up this majority here and uh, part of Fenwick. Third point I was going to go over is affordability. The medium sales price in Ocean City for 2022, I looked at back at that full year, uh, came out to be uh, right around that $410,000 mark versus Fenwick Island, $535,000 uh, medium sales price average you know, in uh, 2022. So, but if you're really focusing uh, on that little strip area where Ocean City is, then you go into Fenwick, you know, most of those houses on the Ocean Side and Bayside and Fenwick, you're looking probably more around the million dollar mark. That's a difference that uh, I think a lot of people get uh, shocked a little bit, just the difference when you cross that imaginary line there. But the, the main reason for that is, you know, like I said, Fenwick has a lot more like single family homes um, and some of them can be quite large. So if you're looking to vacation or rental, um, you know, that's probably what you're gonna be looking at, you know, a, a higher um, price per night for something like say in Fenwick, just because you're probably most likely gonna be renting a larger house, um, which if you're a larger family or maybe it's two families coming together to, to rent, you know, sometimes that can work out to be a little bit cheaper. Number four, um, I kind of mentioned this a little bit uh, previously, but uh, it kind of flows into with home options. So I've, I've talked about a little Ocean City, you know, there's a big um, you know, mix. You can find single family homes, condos, townhomes, um, uh, but there's gonna be a lot more condos in Ocean City, you know, Bayside and Oceanside versus Fenwick Island is gonna be mainly uh, single family homes. Uh, with a little bit of sprinkle of some condo options, um, probably a little bit more townhome options. So the last one, number five, is taxes. So this is a subject that comes up often. You know, often I will help buyers tend to start looking on the Delaware side because they know property tax is a lot lower than on the Maryland side. Um, also, Delaware does not have sales tax, which is also a, a big thing. Um, so let's start with property tax. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up uh, listings for uh, that are comparable in Ocean City versus Fenwick. Here we go, just hopped into the MLS here. I'm just gonna pull up some two like real listings so we can kind of compare them, try to match them up as best as I can. Uh, but this one here is in Ocean City. Uh, it is a townhome style, but uh, three bedroom, two bath, um, 1,700 square feet just about. But we'll look at the taxes here. You see the tax annual down here. So total amount of taxes, 5850 So just about $6,000. Let me go up here and there's another townhome up in Fenwick. This one right here. So this one is actually a little bigger. Four bedroom, three and a half baths at 2,400 square feet. Um, just a little bit bigger, not, not a huge difference, but tax wise, you can see it's 1839 uh, so a huge difference, about a third of the price uh, tax-wise. So the other thing about tax in there is sales tax. I mean, good news is, you know, Ocean City and Fenwick are right there and really any of the, the Delaware beach towns that are here. Um, so there's a lot of people that will, if they live in Maryland and they're here or visiting or vacationing, you know, they can easily travel over into Delaware and do some tax-free shopping that way. It does make a difference when you go out to dinner where there's no sales tax on that. And so the last thing I wanna say in tax, you know, going back to property ownership is Delaware actually is one of the highest uh, transfer taxes, um, which most people don't find out until they actually buy or sell property. 
Um, so Delaware's transfer tax is 4%, and that's usually split between buyer and seller, so 2%. Uh, on Maryland side, it's actually 1%, uh, and that's split between buyer and seller, so it's only a half a percent. Uh, so half percent versus 2%. So it doesn't sound like much, but if, if this is say if you're buying, you know, um, and a typical property over in Fenwick, let's just say it's a million dollars, you know, um, you know, two two percent of a million um, is a, a good little chunk, you know. There, um, of course, in Ocean City, spending a million, you know, it's a half a percent off of that. So it's uh, quite a bit of difference there. But again, that's only you know, short term, you know, uh, one off usually when you're buying a property um, versus long-term, you know, your property taxes that you're paying each year. I hope that helps and gives you a little bit of feel of both, you know, Fenwick Island, Delaware and Ocean City, Maryland. Um, you know, and for me personally, uh, I can't really say one is better than the other. Um, you know, everybody's preference is a little bit different and uh, it's really up to uh, you um, the person who might be buying property or vacationing, which area would, you know, that suits you the best. But if you have any questions, make sure that you leave them down below in the comments and let me know your experience or anything that you thought that I might have missed on this video. But, and I appreciate you coming by and until next one, I'll see you soon.